Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. This is such a look. I'm actually on campus right now this morning. One of my classmates ran an actual marathon. So I'll insert the footage of that here. I'm starting my vlog a little bit later today. I had a call with my mentee. I'm mentoring someone as part of the Minority Genetics Professionals Network. So that was really nice. They're in India. So it was a bit of a time difference. So I work on campus and I work in the center, this building right behind me. And I'm just hanging out before I start my shift because it's really nice to be outside and get some fresh air. So it's about 5 p.m. I am done my shift on campus. Look how beautiful it is behind me. Anyways, I'm done my shift and it's Sunday, so it's time to go grocery shopping. And I'm just gonna about, about to go pick up my roommate from home. But we're going to Trader Joe's today. And I've been to Trader Joe's a couple of times, but not for like an actual grocery trip. Like it was just like for a couple of things or if I'm in the city and I wanted to look around. But now I have like a whole list and I'm really excited. I've heard really good things about Trader Joe's. I sound like such a Canadian right now, but anyways, I'm excited to go shopping and I'm also really hungry, which is bad. You're not supposed to ever go grocery shopping on an empty stomach, but it's fine. I'm gonna make good decisions, I hope. And then we can do a Trader Joe's haul. Okay, this is really helpful, Brooke. <laughs> Oh good, I'm glad. It's gonna be a great experience. I expect <laughs> updates. I'm gonna vlog it so you can see my whole virgin oh. experience. Oh my god, can you do an can you do a haul as well? Yeah, I definitely love, will. Oh my god, I love Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> Thanks so You're much. You for us. Requesting. You're welcome. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. I hope you all are seeing this. shopping I'm just waiting for my roommate in my car and I feel like that was a mildly overwhelming experience this location is pretty small I don't know if all of them are that small but we were just talking about how I feel like all of their sizes are pretty small like I would not be able to shop here for my family and also typically we do grocery shopping bi-weekly so we buy groceries for two weeks and I don't know if this will last me two weeks I'm not really sure but in terms of the price um, I was only five dollars over my budget which is good but like I said everything was a little bit smaller so I'm not really sure I'll show you everything I got when I get home so we're back from Trader Joe's I'm trying to fix my hair but it's not working um, I'll show you what I got I won't tell you the prices of everything but in total my bill was $55.35 which like I said is pretty on budget everything is just a little bit smaller than what I'm used to so I'm hoping it lasts the entire two weeks, but I'll show you what I got. So I got some bananas for my smoothie. Organic lentil vegetable soup, basically dal for anyone that's watching. It says vegan, as they all are. Um, I got this barbecue sauce, nope, that's not it. This is enchilada sauce. One of my recipes requires enchilada sauce and I bought two of them because like I said, I wasn't sure about the sizing. So that's what I bought, I bought two. And this is my barbecue sauce, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to be using it for barbecued meat, <laughs> but I feel like it, I just like sauces. So I'm like, let me just try this one. And I got a red pepper, one red pepper. It was a dollar. Um, I bought this salsa, fire roasted tomato salsa. Looks really good. I spent a lot of time in the salsa aisle because there were a lot of options. But like I said, this was like the largest size, which is pretty small. Cause like, I feel like I could eat this in like three servings if I wanted to. So hopefully that will last. And then I bought some green chilies. Also needed for one of my recipes. Garlic, one garlic. And four avocados. These are these were cheaper than they would have been at my grocery store. Have some potatoes, also cheaper. They're like a dollar something. $1.99, I think. What? For all these potatoes. There were some things that were cheaper. Yeah, uh, yeah three pounds for $1.99. Damn, I got um vegetable broth i bought some oat milk um i don't know if this is cheaper or not than the one that i normally get because it's a lot smaller i think so yeah it's definitely smaller but i feel like if you were to compare the prices it would have been around the same and that's it for bag number one then i bought some kale kale greens I bought two tofus i know trader joe's has like special tofu where it's like flavored but it was mad expensive it was like half the size of this for more than double the price and i was like you know what maybe one day when i'm an earning woman i will buy that and then i got these habanero lime flour tortillas um wasn't on my original list but you know what i felt like i should try these out and then i bought <laughs> Um, black bean and roasted corn veggie burgers. Wow, I thought I bought other ones. I guess I just picked these ones up instead. I got those ones too. I really thought I bought another flavor. Honestly, it's fine. I do like black beans. I'm excited. What the heck? Okay. Anyways, then I bought some regular milk. Uh, regular milk. And I bought zucchini. I don't like how everything is individually packaged. I feel like a lot of things are like that. Yeah, I don't understand why that is. But, got some zucchini. And I saw a YouTuber eat this rice. It's on chimichurri. I think I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. No. Rice, chimichurri. Um, anyways, he ate this, so then I bought it. So I've been influenced to try this. And I think I'm going to make a burrito bowl tonight, so I'll use that. And then I bought some organic pepper jack cheese. What's that? And then I bought some nachos, or I guess tortilla chips, um, yellow corn tortilla chips. Oh, they're gluten free. And they're organic. Okay. <laughs> I found that their organic stuff was very reasonably priced. Yeah, I agree. I feel like usually I. Okay, my mom's not watching this, so it doesn't matter. But typically, my mom always buys everything's organic, but like it's more expensive, so I don't bother myself buying it. But I just felt like some of these things are organic, and I just it just happened to be. Oh, this is organic too. Like mm -hmm. the bananas we got were organic. I feel like that's something else I got was also organic. But yeah, I don't know. Um, and then this was I got some whole wheat bread. This is the cheapest one that they had. How much was it? It wasn't that expensive. It was like. It took me a very long time to find it though. Um, $1.99. It's pretty large hefty loaf, which is nice. Smells good, Just smells like bread. And that's it, that's all for my haul. And now I'm gonna eat some food, eat my burrito bowl because I'm very hungry. This is my finished product. I feel like I really outdid myself here. So as a base, I have the chimichurri rice, and then I just warmed up some salsa with kale and green peppers and my black beans and cheese on the stove as you just saw. And then I put a lot of guac on it because obviously that's life. And then I put some chipotle sauce. And I'm really excited to eat this. Also, let me know if you want to see what I eat in a day videos or meal prepping videos as a vegetarian, 
Um, I love food. I actually really like cooking for myself, not for others. But if you're interested in that, I can definitely put that on the list. Y'all, I was craving a burrito bowl so bad yesterday. I was going to go buy Chipotle, but I'm so glad I didn't because this is so much better than Chipotle. I'm just so happy. Said you're feeling very tired i am gonna get ready to go to bed i just have to finish one more reading for my class tomorrow morning that i just haven't been able to get through this whole day so i'm just gonna try to finish that and then do my nighttime skincare routine and then go to sleep because tomorrow is monday um i know in my last vlog i said that i was not feeling motivated for school but now that I've had my first week of classes, I am again reminded of what I'm really passionate about and that's really making me feel more like wanting to do school and feeling more excited for school. So that's where I'm at right now, which is good. Um, this coming week, I'm also starting my first day of in-person rotation, which it's taken a very long time to get to this point because of the pandemic, but I'm really, really excited. So that's all for me today. I'm going to end the vlog here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, I'm definitely going to be vlogging a bit more now that I am back in school and I'm back in New York. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and thanks for watching. I know, I know, I know, I know.